welcome back to no rules no limits today's vlog will be in english so guess what it's about it's about the ielts test and yes this is the continuation of our part 1 ielts video and today i'll be talking about computer based ielts test i'm not only talking about my experience but also i'm going to show you a demo so must watch this video till the end Before moving on to the demo, let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of computer-based IELTS test. For computer-based IELTS test, the results will be published within three to five days after the exam. While in paper-based exam, we will receive the result only after thirteen days. Another advantage is that we can see the timer on the screen for computer-based IELTS test, and for paper-based we have to check the time on the wall clock those are the two advantages of computer based ielts test uh, the other two disadvantages that i noticed is that while writing there are high chances of making typo errors or unintentional errors so we have to be careful about that and the another thing is you should have a decent typing speed otherwise better go for paper based ielts exam so keep those two things in your mind based on my experience both computer based as well as paper based exams were similar uh, but still i found computer based exams more easier because i have a decent typing speed i could see the word count on the screen for the writing section which made my job very easier and the third one is we could highlight certain portions in the reading section which will help us to answer better and rest of the advantages we will discuss during our demo the first section will be the listening test and as you can see there will be a timer you can choose the correct answer and you can alter it later and when it says no more than 3 words or a number must follow the rules you should follow the instructions very well do not write more than 3 words and you have to fill the details while listening to the audio you will be provided with a paper and a pen but from my experience never use those because it will only waste your time there will be a total of 40 questions for the first section and you will get 2 minutes to review your answers the next section is a reading section and it's the same you can opt which are options you find right there will be 40 questions in this section as well and you can see the timer as i mentioned in my previous video i read the pass passage once and then uh, i just go straight to the questions after that i will find matching keywords If you want to highlight or not something there are options so that you don't have to use the given paper and pen you will just waste your time Next section is the writing section there will be two parts part 1 will be letter it can be formal or informal and at least 150 words so try to write at least 170 words plus 20 and the advantage is that you can see the word count the next part 2 will be kind of essay there are five types of essays and uh you have to write at least 270 words and you can see the word count For my general IELTS test, I didn't get much time to practice. 
I'm going to post all the resources which help me in the description box. And also, during this pandemic, if you guys are having difficulties going to an institute, then there is an online institute called Language Nest. There will be individual trainers and you will get one-to-one -one attention. Also, schedule is flexible, so you can learn whenever you get time. Even the Instagram stories are so helpful. It's fun as well as we'll get more practice. So, thank you for watching me. Do subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye.